progress. Progress pushes our group forwards. Now, with an electrical workbench, Magnus is able to increase the value of our iron. Not by much. In fact, a small amount. But it is progress. With no more research to do for the meantime, mainly due for the lack of books and research materials, Magnus can use his scientific knowledge to create these, but food is still low. Although we are able to make some bread and turn it into dust widges using our cactus, it is a slow process and we still have to add in raw material from the local bar and suppliers. Food is by far not a secured resource for our group yet. However, Kenchi has a way of providing for those who are desperate enough to take what they need. And the group has been informed that yet again Kenchi provides. Mm, I'm going to need to carry an awful lot as our loyal hounds are already in position. Ready to take advantage of the bounty that Kenchi has offered us. Oh, you're not working on it. Damn you. On. There we go. Uh, Ruka could be in the fight. You can't. Not really. Do we try anyway? No, no. Ruka, you can come over. Now, Hobbs and Swift are making their way back, but they have more resources to drop off than the others. Max and Molly, who have been doing almost nothing. But it's time for them to do their bit for the community. Where have they gone? <gasps> Kenshi! You... You lied to me. Where? Oh, there they are. There they are. A family of goats. And we. Oh, you can actually peel off a couple? Excellent news. Excellent news. Right, we're going to try and peel off a few. Now, considering. Oh, that's crappy. Magnus, you can come as well. Uh, you can definitely make it. I'm going to have to keep an eye on where they are. Uh, sure. Have a look. You're not going to find anything. So, Max and, Max and Ollie. Against the goats. Let's see how our... How our wow, Dingo Doggo. I was not expecting you to kill it in two hits. Where did the others go? Oh, they went up this way, I think. Where are you, goats? Look at their blur. Ah, there they are. Well, it looks like Max and Ollie have already taken out um, a couple of them. You can only imagine. Because I didn't really look. That appears to be two of them. Right, Magnus. 
come over here and gather up our prize. Now, are the goats coming back down? Oh, they are. Excellent. Get in there, man. Yes, eat them. Eat them. Well, no, don't eat them, because we, we need those. Do you know what? Yeah, you two return home. Uh, Ruka, you're not going to get in this. Don't just... <sighs> you're... you're... There's no way. Luckily, Magnus did bring a big rucksack, so it should be fine. Although the goats are getting away now, we might be able to bring them back. How are you two doing? You're actually doing all right. I'm going to say... If we can find those bloody... Oh, they're so far. How did you get all the way up here, you little buggers? Attack. Attack. Ah, oh, only one of them is coming down. Well, that's disappointing. Oh, no, there we go. Magnus, where are you? You have a very important job of looting. I am wondering if we couldn't take the goats captive. I wonder if you can actually um, get prisoners to to join your group. Right, I am going to have to heal them up now. Give me all your vittles. So, the issue of our food is no longer an issue. We have more than enough um, now. Hopefully Ruka is coming over. Oh hell, this looks bad. I'll be surprised if you survived the night with this with that wound. <clears throat> okay, I'm not sure if that's said for a reason. Like genuinely, if you don't heal them, if they will die, it's possible. Right, well, I think we've got enough supplies now. What are you doing? Oh, operating grind. Uh, grain silo. Ah. Do we have any food? We do not. I know for a fact we have... No. What are you doing? Don't take all of the bread. What do you mean? It... Really? Why is that an invalid container? Sure. Okay. I will accept this. And then Hobbs needs to um, needs to drop off some supplies. Good. Come over here, Hobbs. Put all of the cactus in. And then Hobbs, you need to come back over here. Ori, have you uh, filled up? I can't believe that Ori is still not overloaded. It, it's mental. I don't understand how she isn't. But apparently she isn't, so... Right, Magnus. Come, come here. Why? There we go. I want you to drop all of that off, but I also want you to um, sell off
all of this because this will be worth a decent amount so we've got 5,800 no oh, yeah, okay. not as much as I was hoping for never mind I believe we need more iron plates technically we could sell the rice the straw flour for you know 500 a piece which is pretty good, but it's such a pain in the ass to get. That's the only reason I don't. I probably could buy. Well, actually, that is 370 if you buy it all, if you bought 10. Oh, actually, that's not quite as good as I was thinking. Yes, it is better to just um, grow it. Do I get some more research books? I think we will. It's going to cost us a decent chunk of our money. I think that's just something we're going to have to accept. Do you have any food? You don't. Okay. Right. So we've no food really here. Oh, we do have... I could make some dust widges. Only you're not the cooking one. Um... I know what I'll do. I know what I'll do. that there. Confirm. Then Magnus, come here. Take all of that meat and your new job is to cook and haul to there. And then hopefully what we'll see is, yes, Magnus is hauling it uh, to there. So he'll get all of that done. Uh, Ori, I bet you finished this, haven't you? You did a long time ago. You're still not overloaded. Well, I was pretty sure that you could get overloaded. Even with that bag on. I guess not. Uh, you've got 9%. You're still going. Right, Magnus, have you finished your task? No, not yet. You're getting close. Oh, have we finished? Oh no, we're just finishing up now. Okay. See, I probably should have put the food thing here, and then Molly and Max could have eaten at their heart's content. Oh well, my, my bad. These things happen. Yes, I may go a full episode without a cut. This is this is unheard of. It really is. I uh This game requires a lot of cuts, but it's okay when not uh, when it's well, I think it's all right when we're actually doing stuff. It's not so good when uh, I'm just Doing absolutely feck all, but so uh. <laughs> so this has been one of the challenges for us at the moment. There's no wind. Um, right. Actually, come here, Agnes. I believe we have. Well, we don't have much rum, but we have some rum. And if we have some rum, we can sell it. Have you guys already finished? This is the thing. When you watch this and hope that it will fill up quickly, it takes forever. When you're actually doing other things... Wow, it seems to fill up quick. So we're going to make a nice 800. 
and 16 from that. It's not a lot. It's, I would actually say it's not worth the hassle we're going through to make everything. I'm going to leave it at that. I just spent a lot of money on books and research materials. But this is the kind of thing that you have to do. Um, right, from here. Three, I'm happy with that. Four, I'll go for that, I guess. Uh, medical, sure. Heavy weapons, splints, fine, will do. Steel plates, improved mining. Um, batteries. Battery capacities, and that's all of our books gone. So this is what I mean. It it's very very expensive. Um, it is what it is at the moment. We are getting very very. Oh, there's no electricity. Oh, you. Mm. Okay. That's not a lot of food. Take that and go on a food run. Bring Ori and Ruka some food. Have they already filled this up? Not yet. Yeah. And then I'll take um, I'll take the other two some food, just to show you know how. Well, basically, no, don't you turn jobs off. So this is I don't know if this is a bug that happens, but Magnus is going to continuously try and take the food back to the um, back to the to the food storage it, it's quite annoying go and trade with Hobbs now it, so you couldn't have ran over to him you lazy bastard get up no, not that there, there right uh, Magnus is making his way excellent yes yeah, still not over overloaded Ridiculous. It's good. It means that she's ridiculously strong now. She may even be stronger than Magnus. And 31 strength for Magnus. It's pretty impressive. And I believe, yep, he is still going up because he's carrying um he's carrying all those iron. He's carrying all that iron. I can't get my words out properly. There we go. You now have four pieces of meat. Who the hell are you? Escaped servants from the holy nation. And because they escaped their servitude, they are now outlaws. Unlucky. Wow, look at that moustache. Ha ha he ha. Well. Magnus, return home. Back to your workings, Magnus. So, why am I collecting iron? There we go. Overloaded. Finally, we're overloaded. Um, that's the reason I'm collecting iron. I want one... Uh, one rucksack completely filled with a ridiculous amount of iron to um there we go to basically use as a training ex exercise um it seems like the best idea that i could uh i could go with really luckily bread does do itself it you don't actually have to cook bread um 
sale value is decent-ish. It takes a lot of effort to actually get bread. Um, the uh, dust switch sells for a decent price. It's 70 nutrients, nutrition, um, which is a lot better than the meat wrap. So that's why I've been going for um, making dust switches. In fact, I should probably make some more. In fact, I'll probably turn a lot of the meat wraps off. In fact, let's turn all the meat wraps off. A load of dust switches and then a couple of meat wraps in case we run out of cactuses. Because um, again, I want the farm to make me food and money. Whoops. And at the moment, it's struggling to do I to do to do just one of them. Ooh, you finally have. Oh, hang on, hang on. Am you game? You sneaky bugger. Did you make me? No, I didn't waste everything. Okay, and take that. Excellent. There you go. Hobbs should carry on working now. Although it is getting dark, so we're not going to get as much food. Because we take a negative. I'm so glad that this has overloaded her. What's your strength? 32. Yeah, fair play. Fair play. So, who did I get cooking? Ooh, I didn't want to do inventory. I wanted to do this. Uh, who is that good at cooking? So, you're at 21. Oh, wow. You're, you're our best cook at 21. Jesus. That's... um. Ah, so Mace, uh, Magnus and Hobbs actually get a racial bonus for cooking. Okay. I might need to change the cook then. Although, I don't think Hobbs can really cook. Because he's already out here farming. Uh, we'll have to see. We will have to see. But for now, for now, Magnus is doing that. Uh, ben will be doing that. Okay. Well, I, I was hoping I could get away with a with a full episode without a cut. I don't think we're going to be able to. I think you have watched me waffle on doing exactly the same thing over and over again for long enough now. So, uh, yes, I'm going to get one more piece of iron and then we'll go over and do some mining of copper. Um, honestly, this game is very grindy. I'm not going to try and hide that at all. Um, what little we have actually got done is a lot. <laughs> what you guys have seen anyway is a lot. Um, of actual time, well, time that I've put in. It is enjoyable. I'm not going to... I've played a lot of grindy games. This is probably one of the better ones. It is enjoyable. You can get satisfaction from, you know, seeing your stats climb and getting small projects done. As for enjoyable gameplay, eh, I think the cuts are needed. Um, it's all right. I will bring you back when uh, we decide to do something, um, basically. Because at the moment, we are we are not doing anything except from what I have been doing. Are you trying to come into my house? Go away. Which is, uh, yeah, preparing. Getting ready. <gasps> Right. We will not be making a cut. Kenshi has provided. Now, unfortunately, the other three... Sorry, the other four are not in range. They're not going to get involved in this fight, but uh, 
the Bone Dog pack, and uh, Magnus certainly will. Magnus, stop researching. Right. Dingo doggos. Just attack. Just a oh, look. Look, it's going to be glorious. Magnus, if you can try and attack something. Ooh, that one. It ran. It ran at you. Perfect. Yeah. Now, Magnus is suffering a ni minus five because of his, uh, his, his rucksack. That's fine. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All this meat. We were having an issue. We were going to have an issue with food. Not anymore. Not anymore. This is, this is just resolved all of our problems. Don't. Magnus, don't go trying to do other jobs. What are you doing? Foraging animals. No, you're not. Well, you are, but I'm doing that. Oh, happy days. Molly and Max look very pleased with themselves. As they should be. They have provided for the group. Yet again. I don't know how you get... I think if you want to dual wield... Oh, come here. I think if you want to dual wield, you have to have a katana and like a dagger class, maybe. Because, yeah. I don't think Magnus is dual wielding. I was hoping he would. Uh, we did that one. Did we do the one behind you? We did. Did we do that one there? We did not. Well, now we have. And look at all that food. Oh, glorious. Glorious. Right, dingo doggos, go back to where you should be, and then we'll heal you up. How are you two coming along? Uh, Ruka, what are you doing? You, you have food. Yeah, this is what I mean. I oh, maybe she's using medic. Okay, no, I I won't be. I won't scold her. That's quite good. Um, did you already do that one? No, you haven't done that one. Ooh, excellent. Gather up some more wheat straw or wheat flour, whatever you want to call it. Orny. Hang on. Orny got here first? Oh, no, no, no. Of course, it was um, Magnus's. Uh, it was the healing. So, Magnus is going to sell off all this leather. You can. Well, animal skin. You can turn animal skin into leather, into leather and then sell it for a little bit more. Is it worth it? Not really for the amount of time to set up. Um, I think it's just better to get the money that we need. Um, again, more books. It should not surprise any of the group that Magnus is spending all of our money yet again on books. But it kind of has to be done. <laughs> It really, really, really does. But what I'll do this time is um, I will get I will get Magnus. Oh, I got rid of it, didn't I? Okay. Come over here. We're going to store up some of the meat in our food. Because again, I do want to keep some meat later on. Uh, we're going to build another campfire. And then Magnus is going to be placed on that for now. How much does that sell for? Yeah, see, leather sells for fuck 
cool. Like, you actually get more for animal skin. I'm so glad I didn't do that. That's terrible. So we do need more iron plates. There are a few things that we need more of. So, um, the reasoning behind my we need more is I don't think we can build all that much more in this building. Um, I think we're going to have to move... What the fuck? Okay, he, he just lied down. Okay, fair enough. Um, really? You lied? Fair enough. Um, they've eaten. Yeah, they've both eaten. Okay. Um, so yes, the reasoning behind the stockpiling is... My idea, hopefully, <laughs> is that we're going to leave this place. And when we leave this place, I want to make sure that we have as much equipment, as many supplies as we can get our greedy little hands on. Um, and that does mean food. The issue when setting up your own base is you, if, you're, if you set up too close in someone else's territory you will constantly be harassed by like we are here the Sheik. they keep on the chosen they keep on trying to push us out now if we go to the holy nations well they'll attack us because we've got Sheik characters if we go to the united cities well they're gonna um want money off us they're gonna keep they're quite corrupt so that will be our issue with dealing with them. Um, the Tech Hunters are actually an alright group. I haven't found a reason not to join the Tech Hunters, but I think our own community would be better. So what I'm thinking is we stockpile all the stuff that we need. And then we make our own community. You know, we, we venture out. What? There we go. We venture out into the wasteland and we build our own place. Well, the problem with that is we need to find a place first. That means we need to explore. Um, once we've explored, we then need to get the resources there to build an, a town. Well, we need to make materials and we need to make iron plates because they're essential building materials that so we're going to need two mines in order to get iron and um and well actually we need stone so we have to have a mine build a mine anyway there's lots of things that go into it and that's without including walls um <laughs> at the moment we're we're completely we're just looking at getting the main things that we would need to build a community without walls and uh, defences. We are going to get attacked by a lot of people. It, it just is what it is. Um, so that's why I'm spending so much time here gathering and grinding, basically. Because this group of people here will be our elites later on. You know, at one point, we will have to just bring people in to operate the stone miner. You know, we will have to bring people in just to operate the farm. And that will be their job for life. Um, but at the moment, we just need to increase our research and, like I said, prepare. Once we have... Um, enough of the goodies that we're going to require then we'll move out and part of those goodies are decent food not so much the grog that was the rum that was to make a bit of extra money on the side that to be honest isn't really working food is we are building up a decent food supply and soon i will turn that into um 
the switches and all the other stuff that we need. But we will have to buy all of our iron plates and our building materials and everyone will have to have um, one of these big backpacks. I might even go off and find another human to bring into the mix so that we have another dedicated cooker. Oh, actually look for a dedicated cook or bring in another farmer so that we have someone else. These are the plans that I'm that I'm thinking of. Um, in fact, we probably have enough food now to where I could go and see if we can get another person. Magnus, what else are you doing? You are still doing your meat feast. Let's speed that up for a minute. No, they finished their work a long time ago, whilst I was waffling. Get working, you two. Let's have one last check, and then what I will do is... Uh, check... God damn it. Warning. Check proving group heading towards your, your outpost. Marvellous. Swift. Grab all of that. Hobbs. Come back to base. We're not going to be going on our adventure just yet then. We'll bring you back. And then you can basically unload all of your um, goods. Whilst it's still daytime, I want to try and get a little bit more... See, look, you can see the price dip. At the moment, we can sell it for 151, or we can sell it for, um, in uh, electronic component form, 210. So it's not a massive improvement for the amount of time it takes, but electro electronic components are a one-to-one -one manufacture. It is something, at least. Swift, come here. Good work, Swift. So sh Swift just went and filled up all the things with water, I hope. Now, the Shek are attacking, so we're probably going to disengage all of our jobs. Turn jobs off. Jobs, same for you. Turn jobs off. Now, we can't put any more flowering. We'll take all of the bread. Uh, we'll bring the bread over to here. Put all of that in. Do I make dust widges yet? No, because the people, my group will only start eating them. Um, right. So. You're good for now. Don't move. Swift. Uh, you're good for now. Oh, that's still Hobbs. Swift. You did empty. Yes, you emptied everything. Take a couple of pieces of meat. Uh, Ruka. Help. How's your group doing? Very, very, very well. Um, so Ori is overloaded, which is beautiful to see. I think you two are running out of food, actually. Yeah, you've only got one each. Okay. Well, let's bring you two back. Um, I'm trying to think if we've got enough to actually... start moving out. It would be nice. I am quite sick of this place and doing doing these jobs over and over and over again. How long have we got? Okay. 
And what other crafting have we got to do? I know I haven't done defenses and things. But I'm wondering if we couldn't go out. And actually do some other stuff. Let's have a look swift. How's your uh, lock picking and hobs? How's your melee attack? Choke it. So right. You have no ability. Swift has no lock picking ability and Hobbs has almost no attack. Okay. So I do have things that I can be getting on with uh, behind the scenes, as it were. Money for now isn't that value uh, important. We're going to put all of that stuff in there. Ruka, we're going to have you training on combat, I think. Because you can level up a little bit more. And then Orni. Orni is a little bit of a special case. Because she's finally overlaid again. Uh, they've arrived at our at our outpost where no one is. Watch out because some, like the Shek, aren't destroying my outpost and they're not taking it over. Some groups will. Some groups will actually invade and take your shit for theirs. It's just how it is. Wow, Orni is leveling up strength quite nicely. 33. Yes, that's that's really, really, really good. And look at it. Look at it. It just keeps claiming. Excellent. Uh, which is what Ori needs. It's also what Ruka needs. Um, because they're both going to be heavy weapons users. Heavy weapon users. Um, they're going to need the strength to swing their, their gigantic swords. Just is how it is. But I think on that, we will probably call it there. Um, so a few more days may pass. I mean, we're on day 53, um, which is kind of mental when you think about just how much time has passed. You just called Orni a flat skin, you moron. She still has her horns. Like, she's a warrior in in uh in chic shek society why would you call morons so yeah that is where we're going to leave it for this episode i hope you've enjoyed and i hope you're looking forward to the next one so take care everyone and as always bye bye for now